The total revenue for GE is given in the table. Here we see a table with uh, various years and revenue. We are asked to find an equation for a model of these data. Well, the first thing I want to do here is to look at the data and see what type of model would be most reasonable. So what I'm going to do is let, I'm going to let t, or x actually, I'm going to let x represent the uh, number of years since 2000. And we'll let y represent the uh, revenue in billions. So since x is the number of years since 2000, then x would equal 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. All right, so let's go to the, uh, let's go to the calculator and create a scatter plot of these data. So stat edit. All right, so my list 1, uh, we'll have 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And L2 will have 124, 136, 152, 172, and 183. All right, let me set my window. Let's see, I'll have X go from 0 to 10 by 1s. And Y I'll have going from 100 to 200. And I'll use a scale of 10s there. Let me turn the stat plot on. Second so stat plot. Plot 1 is off. Let's turn plot 1 on. And your usual settings. So now I can look at, um, let me make sure my Y equals screen is clear. My Y equals is clear. All right, so there's the graph. And I see data that does appear to be linear. And what I'll do is I think I'll use the first point and the last point. It looks like a line through those points would be uh, pretty representative of the data. All right, so I will use the first and last point. All right, so that would be 4, 124, and 8, 183. So then we can find the slope. M would equal 183 minus 124 over 8 minus 4. All right, 183 minus 124 is 59 over 4. And 59 divided by 4 is 14.75. Using the slope in one of the points, and I'll just use the first point, I would have y minus 124 is 14.75 by x minus 4, or y minus 124 is 14.75x minus 59. Adding 124 to both sides, y would equal 14.75x plus 65. Now let's go ahead and double check that. Let's see if that's a reasonable model by graphing it in our y equals screen. All right, so let's graph it along with the data. And I missed the plus sign there. All right, 14.75x plus 65. Let's graph. All right, so that looks like a reasonable model for the data. All right, moving on. Using your model, estimate GE's revenue in 2010. All right, so 2010 means that t equals 10 from our model. So we would have r then equals 
14.75 by 10 plus 65. And following the order of operations, and using a calculator, you get 212.5. All right, so our conclusion there is the, uh, the revenue in 2010 was approximately $212.5 billion. What is the slope of the model? What does it mean in regards to GE's revenue? All right, so the slope M is 200, uh, sorry, it's 14.75. And if we think of that as a 14.75 over one, and then, like usual, let's put in the units. 14.75, well, that was in billions of dollars. and the one was in terms of years. So what that tells us is that uh, the, that GE's revenue increased by about 14.75 billion dollars per year. determine a reasonable domain and range for the model. All right, well, remember when we have a model and we have a, if we have a reasonable equation for the model, we have to think, well, the domain, we can go a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right of the data. So for the domain, I might say that T can go between two and 10. I basically went to two years on either side of the data. That would be the domain. Now for the range, what we can do is go to the calculator and calculate the range values, the y values for those inputs. All right, so if we go to our table, and I still have the table on that, the ask feature, Right, so when x is 2, 94.5, and when x is 10, we already know that one, it's 212.5. So a reasonable range might be 94.5 to 